What's going on, guys? Today we're back on the level one account, Clash Royale. Uh, I just actually hit 5,000 trophies, so... Uh, did not think I was going to be able to do that again, or at least I thought it was going to take a bit longer. But, no, we got lucky. We faced a level nine here. He did have a max goblin barrel, so... That's what happens with magic items now. It indirectly makes you face harder opponents because all these guys have like max cards and stuff now. So anyway, yeah, if you guys aren't familiar uh, with the new trophy change, they made it so that you can only face level ones when you're below 5,000. So it seems like it would be not that hard to get 5,000 then. But the catch is, is that once you get to about 4950, you get put into the matchmaking pool with everyone, even though you're not at 5,000 yet. So once you get like 4,950 or... Yeah, anywhere above that, you get put against anyone. So it's usually going to be level 11s, level 12s, sometimes level 13s around this trophy area at this point in the season, except most of them have, like, a couple max cards at least. So we finally got lucky here and ended up facing this level 9. But, yeah, he had a max goblin barrel, but no other cards over level 10. So uh, that was quite interesting but yeah that was a pretty close match right there he actually was just try trying to rocket cycle and stuff and we were able to put pressure on him once he uh spent too much elixir trying to rocket cycle and over defending and stuff so uh here are some of the losses here as you can see some examples you'll be facing if you try to get 5000 level 11 but like inferno tower that's level 10 and over leveled mega knight and balloon all of those like you really can't do anything to stop them. Just all the tank cards and stuff. That's why the log bait was... Well, I mean, he still had Inferno Tower, which was almost made me lose. And then Valkyrie's insanely hard to kill. But still, it was a lot better than a multi-tank deck like this one with the Mega Knight, Knight, Valkyrie, because you just don't have any good damage per second. And, of course, Golem with a max Firecracker, you cannot, cannot even... Get close to winning that. I think I actually got this Hog Pekka one into overtime, but anyway, we'll be going over some of the level one versus level one replays here first. Uh, up against this guy here. It's pretty much a mirror matchup. He also had Mega Ram. So we, we both even go Bandit at the Bridge first play. He goes with the Ram Rider, and I go with the E Wiz. So, one of the best uses uh, of four-year Ram Riders, counter countering other Ram Riders like that, uh, completely countering them and getting a counter push. Bandit lives at 1 HP. Uh, the skeleton already pushed it back behind the Ram Rider. Now it's game right there. This was a really nice and easy win right here. Let's speed it up. It's not really anything else to see. We just completely outplayed him right at the start, and... That's the thing about uh, these level one matches is that you can pretty much win games like off of one or two plays. So, yep, he gave up right there. Got 30 out of that one. And, yeah, so then, yeah, I think this one was actually somewhat close there. I might actually show that one as well. This one was against the level 11. This would have put me at 5,000 by, or it might not have, I forget. I'm... I might have been too low trophies to get 5,000 even if I did win this, but yeah, this was against the multiple tank and balloon deck with Inferno Tower, so there was very little chance I was going to win this one. Oh, actually, I think I know what happened. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure you like disconnected in the end, but I was still uh, too far away to get the win there so yeah he's i realized he has inferno tower i tried to drop an e-wiz but it was too late there uh yeah, and you can't really counter push like a mega knight when you counter a mega knight uh when it's on when it's being hit by your towers and you drop your own mega knight on it that's supposed to like give you a pretty good counter push because your mega knight should still have like half its health but uh since it's a two level difference there on his versus mine and, like, the balloon death drop keeps hitting it and stuff. Like, my Mega Knight would have, like, 1 HP and provide no counter push. So, right there, uh, he either was trying to troll me or disconnected or something. But we still weren't even able to uh, rush in time there. So, then, that leads to this one. We got put back down into the 
below 4950 for this one so you're we facing up against another level one he actually had e giant and mega knight and sparky in this deck which is maybe good against like level 10s and stuff maybe he thought he was in the matchmaking pool for everyone but he forgot or he forgot to switch his deck out because this deck would actually do pretty well against like a level 10 or something if you're trying to get to 5000 but yeah sparky is definitely not ideal for uh, level one versus level one because obviously like everyone is running e wizard and inferno dragon and even like scarmy and stuff which is just completely counters sparky so there's really uh no reason you should be playing sparky when you're facing other level ones so i thought that was gonna be tower right there but i somehow saved that my inferno dragon survived on one hp we're able to drop our own mega knight there and now we have it full HP, ready to counter push. He only has seven elixir. He tries to, he actually does a pretty good kite there. About the best kite he could have done, but it's not going to do anything because the Mega Knight's just going to land on him and kill all the skeletons. So he tries to put Sporky down, uh, but it's too late. I mean, he still ha pretty much had to play it, or else I would have probably three crowned him there. So that was good that he put it mostly out of range of anything to be. Uh, hit. So now he has just about full HP Sparky, and I was definitely not expecting the E Giant here. So, what you want to do always play the Inferno Dragon like far off to the side, like that, so it's out of the range of the E Giant. And there you go, you can fully counter it just like that. Uh, the interaction normally doesn't work in normal E Giant decks, like in challenges or on ladder, uh, on like your main account, because just about all the uh, e giant de decks run lightning or nato so they can nato or lightning your inferno dragon into the uh, e giant radius and stun it so though that interaction only really works with level ones which is another reason why you don't want to play e giant when you're f if you're a level one because everyone's pretty much running inferno dragon so here is the match that got me to five thousand up against this level 9 here, I was like, oh, this might be actually pretty doable, but then I soon enough would see that he had Valk Inferno Tower and uh, Max Goblin Barrel. So, yeah, as you can see here, he probably thought this would be a really easy win. He just goes for the rocket there, and I mean, if he played it correctly, he probably could just rocket cycle me, because what looks like it took like a fourth of my tower, a third of my tower off the bat right there. So, yeah, I was definitely not expecting a Max Goblin Barrel, because, yeah, he didn't even have any of his other cards higher than level 10, so I guess he has spent, like, his Epic Book or whatever, all his uh, wild cards and a bunch of trade tokens on getting his Goblin Barrel Max. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we get just about a connection there. I was considering logging this, but I'm pretty sure it would have been a waste, since I don't think the Mega Knight would have gotten a jump anyway even if i did log that so i'm pretty sure that was the right play there to not log it we have a pretty big elixir advantage right now and yeah i knew the log wouldn't be able to kill it so i had to log and e -whiz to be able to kill those goblins and they still obviously take like half my tower and yeah we do score one e -whiz hit though get the bandit dash onto the tower there he did not know what he was doing really uh trying to stop it there just made it dash even more yeah like these definitely are not anywhere near good players here but as long as they're able to just drop an inferno tower out of range of my e Wiz or rocket cycle or uh anything like that they're pretty much gonna uh be able to counter you especially if you if this dude was like level 11 or has cards like mostly level 11 or 12 this would have been an easy win for him for sure so we were able to thankfully kill his inferno tower like the perfect perfectly right time right there we were able to counter push off that uh goblin or the yeah he rocket rocketed there a while ago to take my tower and yeah obviously put him at a massive elixir disadvantage so yeah, we were able to counter push off of that he tries to three crown me right here which if i if i left that go that that would actually have three crowned me, so had to drop an Ewiz on that. Even though the Inferno Tower was right there, and I was wanting to play that Ewiz to in the pocket to 
stun the Inferno Tower, but I had to play it on the Goblin Barrel instead. So we do get the Bandit Dash on the tower, Inferno Dragon is stuck on the Skeleton Army there. And we're just going to play a Magic Archer in the back to clean up the remaining part of the Skarmy there. And here he goes, he's going to Rocket Cycle again. So I knew that he had under 5 Elixir for the Inferno Tower, but he did have Valken Cycle. So that was not the best play by me right there. I should have uh, remembered the, uh, the Valken Cycle. But we do get a good bit, of, I think, three or four Magic Archer hits right there. Get to log to clean that up. And then we're in a bit of a rough spot there. Thankfully, he played it all on one side of the tower, or else we probably would have been in range of getting one more rocket on our tower uh, for him to win. So now he has two princes on princesses on the map. We have a really good Ewiz right here. Cleans up both the princesses and stuns the Inferno Tower that he was about to play. And now we have a pretty big counter push coming, but oh, uh, plays a Valk there, and look at that, just completely demolishes everything. But we still have the Magic Archer there at this point. I mean, he still could win if he gets a good Galvin Barrel off and is able to rock it, but we were able to get a good... Log plus E Wiz right there. At this point, yeah, I definitely knew that if he got one more, like even tiny bit of goblin barrel, goblin barrel damage, that would pretty much be game because he could just rock it again. But no, we get great bandit connection right there. And there we go. We are now at 5,017 trophies. And I might try to play in like the last couple days of the season. I think there's only, well, I can't see it on there because they don't let you. Pass. You have to go through here. Uh, yeah, nine days left in the season. Oh, yeah, by the way, that video uh, I put out a while ago showing how to get the pass. Yeah, it still works. They've not patched it yet. I've collected up to tier 12. I just haven't played a whole lot this season. So, yeah, you can still get your crown chest that way, but you cannot buy the pass. So, yeah, anyway... That is about as high as I'll get unless I get super lucky and face another level 9 or maybe even a level 8 around this trophy range late season. But yeah, the, and if I get Sparky though, if, if I get Sparky, I can probably win some of these matchups against like... What was one of them? I mean like against Golem and stuff. If I had a level 9 Sparky, I mean like all of these matchups would be a whole lot easier, especially against like Pekka and Hog. And yeah, as long as they don't have like E Wiz or Zap, like it, it or Rocket especially, your Sparky would get tons of value and Princess as well against these uh pretty bad over leveled players around this trophy range. So yeah, that'll do it for today's video. I'll be back on the main account, maybe doing some ladder pushing soon. Uh but yeah, that's pretty much all I can be doing on the level one account until late really late season, so Till then, we'll be seeing you.